Welcome to the Mysterious Vault. Are you ready to delve into the darkest corners of the human mind? In this video, we're going to explore three of the most haunting and enigmatic unsolved cases from around the world. These stories will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about crime and human nature. Number 3, The Zodiac Killer, 1968 United States On a quiet day, the San Francisco Police Department received a letter from a man calling himself the Zodiac Killer. The letter was like nothing they had ever seen before. It was a taunt, a puzzle, and a threat all at the same time. The letter was the first of many that the Zodiac Killer would send over the next few years. In each letter, he would boast about his crimes, taunt the police, and leave cryptic clues that would only add to the mystery. But the most chilling aspect of the letters was the Zodiac Killer's signature. It was a simple symbol, a circle with a cross through it, but it would become infamous in the years to come. Over the course of his deadly run, the Zodiac Killer claimed to have committed 37 murders. His first victims were high school students, and his last known victim was a cab driver. His crimes were brutal and senseless. He targeted young couples, shooting them at point-blank range with a .22 caliber handgun. The police worked tirelessly to track down the killer, but he always seemed to be one step ahead. He would often taunt the police after the murders, sending them letters and taking credit for his crimes. The police had a few suspects, but no one was ever charged with the murders. In the end, the Zodiac Killer was never caught. He disappeared as suddenly as he had appeared, leaving behind a trail of death and destruction. To this day, his identity remains a mystery, and his symbol still sends shivers down the spines of those who remember his reign of terror. Number 2, The Hinterkaifeck Murders, 1922 Germany In the winter of 1921, in the small village of Hinterkaifeck, Germany, strange things started to happen before an unforgettable incident took place. The family made heard strange sounds in the attic and thought the house was haunted, and quit her job. Mr. Gruber found a strange newspaper from Munich on his property, but he couldn't recall buying it. He believed that the postman had misplaced it, but no one in the area subscribed to it. But it wasn't just the maid who felt like something was off about the place. A few days later, Mr. Gruber discovered unknown footprints in the fresh snow, which led from the forest to a broken door lock in the farm's machine room. They sometimes heard footsteps in the attic, but Mr. Gruber couldn't find anyone when he searched the building. It was as if they were being visited by unknown visitors. Despite telling several people about his observations, he refused to accept help, and the police were not notified. Finally on the night of March 31, 1922, Gruber family and their live-in maid were brutally murdered. The killer or killers then stayed at the house for several days, feeding the animals, eating meals, and even sleeping in the house. After the neighbors had not seen or heard from the family for a few days, they checked and found the whole family dead. Police department investigated the murders but the investigation was hampered by people who had disturbed the crime scene. Autopsies were performed, revealing that a mattock was the likely murder weapon. Despite interrogating and arresting numerous suspects, no motive was established, and the case remains unsolved. 
With no clear leads, the case remains a mystery to this day. Number 1, The Isla Woman, 1970 Norway In November 1970, a man and his two young daughters were out hiking in the foothills of Bergen, Norway. when they stumbled upon a badly burned female body. The woman's face was beyond recognition, her fingerprints had been removed, and all labels had been cut out of her clothes. The cause of her death was unknown, but it was clear that she ate between 50 and 70 sleeping pills. The woman, later dubbed the Isdal woman after the area where her body was found, had checked into several hotels in Bergen and even used false identities. She had also purchased several sets of clothing from different shops, all with their tags removed. Investigators found a diary in her luggage, but all of the entries had been written in code, and the pages with her identity had been ripped out. Despite an extensive investigation, the police were unable to identify the Isdal woman. Various theories about her identity have surfaced over the years, including that she was a spy, an assassin, or even a refugee from the Iron Curtain. The case has become one of Norway's greatest mysteries and has captured the public's imagination. And that's all for today. These cases continue to puzzle investigators and fascinate the public to this day. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more such videos. See you in the next one.